All right, good morning. Oh, it was a long night last night. We made it out of LA and make sure this is recording. Uh, made it out of LA, got up here about 11 o'clock last night. We're in Barstow, California at the TA truck stop. Um, today we're going to try to make it down to um, Milan or over to Milan, New Mexico. So lots of driving to do. So let's get out of the parking spot here. Oh, wait a minute. I was so excited to drive, I forgot to uh, do my logbook. Hang on one second. I gotta do my logbook. All right. <laughs> I'm glad I remembered to do that. That would not be the way to start the day. All right, now let's get out of here. Uh, tarp job held up pretty good last night. Driving up here, no major issues. Looks pretty good. Uh, it was pretty easy to tarp. It was just uh, it was uh, time consuming. Um, I had to lay felt across the top of the crates so it wouldn't tear. Um, and we did pretty good getting out of LA. There was a little bit of slowdowns, but nothing came to a crawl. So uh, that was good. So uh, waiting that little bit uh, did help. So, uh, let's see, so we're uh, we're in Barstow. We're gonna get on I-40, which is the beginning of I-40. I-40 runs all the way across the United States, all the way over to uh, North Carolina. So uh, we're not going that far, though. Our plan is to run. All right, to Interstate 15 North. Let me turn her off here. One second. Um, our plan is to run um, one quarter mile, take ramp on right to 40 Interstate 15 North, all the way over to Oklahoma City. At Oklahoma City, we're gonna get on 44, cut up over towards St. Louis, and then St. Louis, we're gonna get on. I think we're gonna go 64. I don't know yet. We're gonna go 64 or 70. I haven't quite decided which way I'm gonna go yet. Let's uh, let's make our way to the interstate, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Arizona. Look at all the trucks waiting to get fuel. 
Uh, the only issue I have is my tarps. The wind has been unbelievable. And uh, my tarps are blowing around. They blow up like big balloons. So, um, I think once I get some fuel, I'm going to go ahead and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw one more strap in the middle. The, the strap is actually already on there. It's kind of hard to describe. But uh, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another strap on there and uh, try to keep the tarps from blowing so much. But uh, all right. Ah, uh, see. We've gone 830 miles. Oh. And we're probably going to get about 130 gallons of diesel. So, all right. Let me get some fuel and um, then we'll go outside trying to find a spot out of the way and uh, we'll fix our tarps real quick. I really didn't want to because I didn't want to burn up the time. But uh, if I don't do it now, I'm going to have a mess later. So, all right, talk to you in a bit. All right, we're out here. I got fuel. I went too far off. I got 20, 125 gallons. So that wasn't too bad. Well, I know it's in the sun, but you see the flag? Wind's blowing. Now, it's not blowing nearly as bad as it was earlier. Um, one of the problems when these tarps, like when I turn my steel tarp sideways, you see how the seams right there? And then you see the big eight foot tarp. These big eight foot tarps, they'll ride a lot better on these big loads. These little tarps here have a tendency to balloon out. And what I mean is, and that was one reason why I put the strap right there on the outside, is the, the tarp itself will blow out. And it could look nice and tight, you know, after you get it done. But as soon as you drive down the road, it just poof. So what we're gonna do, uh, when they loaded these crates, I had to move the trailer and I told them I would not move until I put one strap over each crate. We're gonna take, uh, take the strap, undo this strap, and I should be able just to pull it right through. Uh, and then we're just gonna take the strap and throw it over uh, up there. We're gonna get some more plastic edge protectors. So we'll have one more strap there. And as you can see, so we're gonna move that, that strap, that strap, that one, and that back one back there. And then that should help uh, from the tarps ballooning out like they were. Oh, poor, <laughs> poor tarp. It's, uh, it's catching hell back here. <laughs> now, the reason I put this tarp in the back, um, there is a big rip on the inside of this tarp up at the top. And if I would have put this one on the front, that big rip would have uh, um, been exposed. So... So that's what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna have to get the ladder and you guys will actually see how I ended up tarping this. I'm gonna get the ladder and what I have to do, and let me, let's go around the other side so I can show you. So what I'm gonna end up doing, I'll get the ladder, extend it out and then I'll prop it up here, up to there so I can crawl up on the top and put the uh, little plastic edge protectors in there. So, um, First thing I'm gonna do, put my coveralls on, uh, get ready. I'm gonna try to do this rather quickly. I really did not wanna spend the time doing this uh, today, but if I don't do it, it's gonna turn into a bigger mess later. So we'll go ahead and, and get it done. Um, so let me get my coveralls on. We'll get ready, I'll get the ladder out. Once I kinda of get everything set up, I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, I got my coveralls on. I've already loosened up the winch on the other side or undid the winch. So what I'm going to do, you can see this strap goes up under the tarp. So what I'm going to do, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Hang on a second. See how I'm going to pull that tarp, that strap out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that strap all the way through, roll it back up, toss it over the top. Uh, and then I'm going to do that for the four crates because i got four straps. So let me get that done and then we'll get the ladder out.
Okay, now that I got the strap across, um, I leave I leave enough slack so when I crawl up there to put the plastic piece in there, I could tuck the plastic piece, but also I put it around the winch so the wind won't uh, blow it anymore. Uh, so I'm gonna do that three more times and then uh, we'll get the ladder out and we'll crawl up on top of the trailer and uh, put the uh, plastic edge protectors on the top. So let me, let me finish that and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, um, I, got, uh, I got all the straps over the top. You can see right there. So, and they're all floppy loose so I can go ahead and crawl up there and put the uh, plastic edge protectors up there. Um, I got the ladder set up, my handy dandy ladder. I got it set up so we're gonna crawl up the ladder, get on top of the load. And we got eight plastic edge protectors, the big ones. So uh, that's gonna be the next job. So we'll uh, crawl up the ladder and uh, get these put up. edge protectors so what you want to look for is you want to make sure that the strap is straight up and down where the pocket is where it's attached and then uh, I try to keep make sure I don't have any uh, twists in the top up here but uh, so you can see how this is the big black tarp and then this is the two little blue steel tarps um, these two little blue steel tarps, they, they work for eight foot drops, especially a big job like this. They're just not the best. Um, you def definitely have to like, see when they're overlapped right here, I always try to have a strap where it's overlapped so they don't separate. But, uh, that's what it looks like. So we look pretty good. So I think this will solve our problem and, uh, we should be okay. There's the view down. There's the back of the truck. So, all right, let me uh, let me hop down, and uh, we'll tighten everything up, get everything straight, and then we'll get on out of here. Here, one more view of the truck stop. Hang on. So it's probably a little. You can probably hear the wind in the mic, but uh, there's the view of the truck stop, Petro sign and there's the fuel aisles right there and you see the flag blowing so you can kind of see how strong the wind is so and then that's the shop right here so i guess you could say i'm like a drone uh the blue beacon truck wash used to be right there a long time ago and they tore it down so i don't know why they did that but uh anyway all right it's pretty view up here let's uh let's get this over with so i can get going down the road we still got from right here uh, we still got about, I want to go about a good 400 miles over to Milan. Um, I think that's how you say it. New Mexico, there's a Petro truck stop over there. That's where I'd like to get to tonight. So it's probably going to be a late night, but uh, that's because yesterday was a late night and it just keeps happening that way. Plus the other thing is, is we're heading east. So when you leave California, you're already three hours late. Uh, that's one of the drawbacks of heading east out of California. So, all right, let me get down and uh, finish this up so we can get going. Talk to you in a bit. All right, it's the end of the day. We made it over here to, I don't know how you say it, Milan or Mil Milan, Milan, New Mexico. We're at the Petro truck stop. Uh, we did pretty good today, mileage wise, we did pretty good. Um, 
tarps are doing a lot better uh, so it was worth taking the time to uh, fix them so that worked out pretty good I got two free cups of coffee today so that makes for a good day uh, let's see what else went on today that's about it pretty easy day except for fixing the tarps uh, tomorrow we're gonna make our way over to Sayer Oklahoma uh, we'll stop fuel up the truck again fill up the def tank we're gonna stop at that TA where I always I, I know I can go through backwards and not be in the way so uh, we'll go through the uh, the TA backwards fill up everything um, and then once we get done to say we're probably gonna make our way over to Oklahoma City um, my goal is to be in Louisville on Monday uh, and then we got to deliver this up by Cincinnati on Tuesday so that's my goal so that's what we're gonna work for but other than that it's a good day today. Uh, it's cold here it's like 20 something degrees here so I'll fire up the generator but anyway uh, hopefully tomorrow is just as good so uh, anyway thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys later bye